Hello and good morning. My name is Leon Rowe, currency trader and trading coach at trading180.com and welcome to this video on my thoughts on the dollar Swiss franc and I'm going to be going over my uh, technical analysis as well as um, some fundamental um, and sentiment analysis regarding um, potential uh, sell on this trade, right? So first of all, from a technical perspective, we have prices have come up into this supply zone and uh, we know areas of supply and demand are areas of potential value. So if we're looking to get short on this trade, right, then um, we are saying that the Swiss franc is potentially undervalued against the US dollar right um, so once we've determined that prices are in a supply and demand zone that we want to be that we're interested in then we need to determine the supply and demand order equation and what I mean by that is we need to decide from a technical perspective and the motives and understand the motives behind why traders would be buying or selling within this area and why there should be more sell orders or supply um, or more uh, demand or buy orders within a certain location. So we can break that down into uh, three um, different disciplines. Well, discipline being support and resistance, but um, uh, three uh, different ways of breaking down this area, right? And the first area would be traders who trade horizontal support and resistance, right? From a technical perspective. So we've got, you know, support support a bit of support there underside we've got some resistance right and so uh, traders are going to be looking at this area here and they're going to be willing right to enter short right which means that they're going to be taking their money out of you know their account right and then as soon as they press sell their money is now in the market you know a sell order right so there's willing selling, they're willing to enter the market. And the same principle applies to traders who trade diagonal support and resistance. You have, zoom out a little bit, you've got start here and then you've got traders that would join up that lower high there and then project into the future. And this aligns with this horizontal um, area of resistance. So you have horizontal traders, horizontal uh, resistance traders getting in here you have diagonal resistance traders getting in here as well so it's you know net net we should have some supply here so willing supply coming in right at this area then you have dynamic support and resistance dynamic support and resistance are basically moving averages right and one of the popular moving averages um, is the 100 moving average which we do have right aligned which is a green line, um, and this is uh, an EMA or an SMA, I can't remember which one it is, but we have it aligned within this area here as well. And as you can see, if we zoom in, right, prices have actually touched the green um, 100 EMA or SMA, right? So um, traders will be trading the underside and the bounce of that dynamic resistance right so net net we should have from a technical perspective right a lot of willing supply and if you want to know um, a bit more about forced and willing supply um, did a course recently um, and the link is in the description box below and I go into a lot more detail as to um, and with some trade examples as well um, regarding willing and forced supply right so you're going to have traders willing to enter short based on this area and also obviously you know if they see the right type of price action some traders will enter on pending orders alone at this area this 96 uh 0.98 sorry uh you know six level etc right so there should be a cluster around this area of willing supply right and then we've got obviously four supply um which I'll go into again in the training video if you want to have a watch. So technically, this is a great setup, right? It's a really good setup um, and uh, something that I would consider taking. But 
from a fundamental perspective, um, it's not the uh, trade that I am looking to take at this particular point in time, simply because we have the dollar, um, and the Federal Reserve is just raising interest rates. So, um, you know, we, we're looking at dollar strength at the moment. Um, the Swiss National Bank have come out and said that they think that the Swiss franc is highly valued, right? If we go to um, news article here, and I know this is the Euro Swiss, but um, pretty much the Swiss National Bank retains franc, um, franc high value language, right? So they think in general that it, their currency is, is quite highly valued and they want a cheaper Swiss franc, right? So if they want a cheaper Swiss franc, that means that what they're looking for is for prices to go <clears throat> a bit higher. Now the market moves, <clears throat> markets move for uh, for a number of reasons. Um, one being fundamental analysis and value, right? That's how we determine value beyond a price chart. Um, secondly is risk sentiment, so risk on or risk off. And thirdly is the zero sum game, which is um, basically things like stop hunting right and market manipulation those are that those are the, the the key drivers of price movement within a chart not technical analysis price doesn't move simply because you see a pin bar or a doji candle at a level of support or resistance um, if you want to have an extra edge in the market you need to really understand what you know drives the markets and to have that edge on your side as well as a technical edge as well and it will uh, it should improve your trading no uh, no doubt so um, my reasons for not entering this trade right at the moment is um, simply because I want to be a buyer of the dollar the seller of the Swiss franc so I'm waiting for some sort of pullback into a demand zone which at the moment we haven't got one but it could be created in the future before looking to get long now does that mean I will definitely never be a buyer of the Swiss franc over the US dollar there are moments when you can take advantage of potential um, pullbacks and this week we have the um, some news today we have a lot of our FOMC members speaking but the most important one is the Fed Chair Powell right so um, depending on obviously what you know Powell says then uh, you know that could or could not move the markets but we also have data coming out on Friday which is average hourly earnings we've got the non-farm uh, employment change and we have obviously the unemployment change now depending on the data and what is forecasted compared to what the, um, the actual is will depend on whether I may take advantage or you could take advantage of some short-term sentiment on no negative sentiment on the US dollar right and if you want to know how to uh, you know trade the news in the way that I do and look for you know news deviation trades then there is a link to the fundamental analysis free course which I have produced for you it'll take you to this page right and if you go to videos 9 and 10 I talk about news trading, establishing the theme and is news priced in, and also news trading and calculating news deviation. If you are still trying to trade news in the typical way as far as oh, a positive number, right, means buy, and a negative number means sell, um, you are at a severe disadvantage, right? The news um, trading just doesn't work that way um, now. If it did, then I guess... Uh, we all be retired, um, you know, by now. So, um, depending on what happens, obviously, uh, today, Fed chess uh, speech, as well as Friday's data, um, you could want to take um, advantage of some um, short term um, or even long term. You never know. Prices may pull back, you know, all the way down here, depending, uh, you know, on, on, on the data, etc. Right. We have no idea. But what we want to do is just as traders put the probabilities on our side. Right. And um, doesn't, like, like I said, doesn't mean that this won't, you know, uh, pull back. Uh, but if you are uh, looking to buy the 
dollar right and uh, sticking to your fundamental principles then you know basically just looking for a pullback before looking to potentially get long or getting long and um, or taking advantage of some short-term negative sentiment on the dollar depending on the data so um, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment in the section box below or email me at info at trading180.com. Hope you have a great trading week and take care.